Hi, good morning, and welcome to episode two of How Not To Sing. Um, if you're joining us for the first time, this video series is basically me explaining all the ways that I've got singing wrong over the years, all the problems I've encountered, so that you don't have to fall into the same traps and pitfalls. Huge thank you to everyone that commented on the first video. Uh, that's what's brought me back for the second episode. And if this is helpful, please do comment and let me know because if the comments continue, the videos continue, if the comments stop, then I'll go and join the Chippendales or something, do something else. Okay, so we had a request from the first video's comments to have a look at a song called You Shook Me All Night Long by the mighty ACDC. Now, I love ACDC. I love this song. I love rock music. I love singing. But I hate, with a capital H, singing this song. It's really, really hard. It's awful to sing. It's very, very high. There's no room to breathe. It's a relentless track with very few gaps to get yourself together. And all in all, it is a hideous and vile experience for a singer. Um, but the person that commented did point out that they struggle to keep the breath throughout this song. Uh, and I can relate to that because what I found or what I find when I sing this song is it starts out with good intentions. She was a fast machine, was a monoline, all that kind of jazz. But then as the song progresses, my voice starts to sound much more airy. You shook me the night long, I'm telling you, you shook me the night long. And that's only the first chorus. So, how can we avoid the traps and pitfalls? Well, let's first hear the master at work. So this is ACDC's You Shook Me All Night Long. Here we go. Okay, so how do we survive this experience and give a meaningful vocal performance? Okay, well here's, here's don't number one. Okay, so the first tip is a bit tedious, actually, um, but it all comes down to preparation. Now, when singing this song, you need every ounce of your focus. You need laser beam focus on controlling your breath. That's entirely where your mind is at in this track. So do not allow anything to distract you from that. And that means learning the words, learning them backwards, learning every single note, every nuance of this song, learn it in detail. Because if you're singing away and you're starting to think, crikey, how does verse two start? Is it a double chorus at the end? How long is the guitar solo? then your mind will be distracted or go off in different directions and then you will start to lose your breath control. Now then, air will push up against your vocal cords because it's not being controlled and your vocal cords will start to pull apart or not fit together as tightly as they should. And that is what causes the breathy sound. You show me all night long. You run out of breath, your vocal cords dry out with all the air, and then you go home in tears and never want to sing ever again. I speak from experience, so please learn the song backwards so you don't have to think about the words, the melody. Also, when you're preparing to sing this song, sing it a bit lower. Don't go straight in at the ACDC key. It's not healthy and it will discourage you. So drop it down a few notes. Just sing it around the house nice and steady, nice and gently. Learn the song backwards in preparation. Now, tip number two is still boring, okay? To save any suspense, singing has a, got a lot of boring bits to it, if I'm truthful. It's not all about standing like this on a stage with pyrotechnics going off. There's a lot of preparation that goes into it. We don't just throw this stuff together, you know. But it's all about breath control, okay? Because this song is the king of songs that needs you to have good breath control. 
Now, the aim of the game is to take as much air in as you can and then to keep it held down so you don't run out of air, but also so you don't let it rush rush it up to your throat, rush through your vocal cords, because that's what pushes them apart and creates that breathy sound. Now, I covered a lot of breath control in the It's My Life How Not To Sing video. So go have a look at that if you haven't seen it already. If you don't want to do that, then very, very quickly. When you breathe to sing, don't breathe shallowly into your chest. There's not a lot of space here. What you want to do is breathe all the way down into the bottom of your lungs. It allows you to take in more air. Now, once you have the air down there, you need to keep it there, keep it under control. Control how quickly it leaves through your throat, through your vocal cords. Now that involves breathe, breathe in and then push down with your poop muscle, okay? And keep this air in. Only let it escape when you allow it to, not of its own accord. That's called breath support. Very, very boring. Now, there's another dimension to breath support that the really good rock singers are using, okay? And that's also compressing the breath. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? Now, for many years, over the years, um, I've hung out with people that uh, are smokers. I'm not, they were good friends. And what would happen is we'd be hanging around chatting to each other and they'd take a drag on the cigarette. And then I would choose that moment to ask them a meaningful question, say, you know, what about this? And they would go, well, the thing that you, you want to know about that, see, the way I see it, it's a bit like this. And what you've got to understand is it's like this. So they're talking while holding in as much breath as possible. Sounds too simple to be true, doesn't it? But that is the gateway to compressing the air and to controlling the breath and keeping it under your own control. So it's that kind of sensation you actually want on top of the deep breath, on top of the poop muscle, to keep the breath down. Make it your bitch, this breath. Do not allow it to leave unless you say it should. So practice. Practice holding your breath in, see how long you can talk, talk nice and gentle, and make sure you can keep that breath under your control, okay? Now, if you listen to the original track, you can actually hear Brian Johnson using the smoking sensation technique. Should we call in that phrase? The smoking sensation? Because he's there in the very first line going, she was a fast machine, was not clean. I've exaggerated there, but you can detect him doing it and he is keeping that breath pushed down. He is not letting it go anywhere. Okay, so I just wanna give you a quick demonstration of the effort that certainly I have to apply to keep the breath under control in this song, okay? So I'm gonna take a deep breath down into the bottom of my lungs and I'm gonna hold it there with the poop muscle and with the smoking sensation technique, okay? So it's gonna sound something like this. She was the best machine, kept the money clean, was the best damn woman that I've ever seen. She had silent eyes, telling me no lies, knocking me up with those American thighs. And you can see by my face just how hard I am working now. I'm not working, I'm pushing the vocal. That's secondary. In my mind, I'm thinking breath, 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 breath. Control it. Do not let it pass go. Do not let it rush out when you don't want it to, because you'll never get it back in this song. There's no gaps. Thanks, Brian Johnson. Really appreciate it. Now, the third tip I have to offer is don't sing too hard and heavy. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors when it comes to rock singing. I've learned this over the years. And when you watch the footage and you listen to the tracks, you think that these guys are roaring. She was a fast machine, kept a money clean. And the ones that know what they're doing are not singing like that. Because to do that, as you can hear in my own foolish demonstration there, 
If you were to sing that way, you are using air to thrust into your throat. And your vocal cords are trying to stay together like that. And the air is blasting them apart like that. Two problems. Firstly, they can't pull together efficiently to give you the nice bright tone. But also air rushing through dries them out as well. So the result of that is that you get this you shook me all night long by the first chorus. So sing smaller. First of all, don't sing it too deep. You don't need to sing you shook me all night long. Again, listen to the track. He's not doing that. You shook me all night long. Nice and thin. Nice and small. But also, if he was to be stood next to me, if he was there singing this song to me, it would be surprising how not loud he's actually singing. Again, if you lose concentration and you start pushing to try and sing loud, it's pushing these vocal cords apart. So he's singing it relatively, relatively gently. Okay? Now you're probably thinking, crikey, it doesn't sound like it. This song absolutely roars. It does. Because there's other things at play. First of all, the band, ACDC, old Angus Young thrashing away, uh, that is adding a heck of a lot of energy. And also there's a lot of vocal production as well. So you've got compression, you've got delays and reverbs, and it makes it sound like he's roaring like a lion. Again, smoke and mirrors, because in reality, the guys that know what they're doing, they're shrinking this down for the purposes of keeping it under control. So don't feel you have to roar like a lion. Take it steady. It's a marathon and not a sprint. Sprinting leads to airy, you show me all night long. By first chorus. Now, tip number three is keep the throat open so it can do its job, so it can get into positions that it needs to get into. Now, there's a lot of words in this song, and with a lot of words comes the desire to move your throat into all different positions. Now, your throat doesn't look like that, but you see what I'm saying. You've got, she was a fast machine, kept a motor peak, was the best damn woman that I've ever seen. Again, it doesn't sound like that, but you get the point. There's a lot of different sounds to make. Now, my advice is to make it a bit easier on yourself and flatten these phrases out. Okay, now what I mean, what I, what I mean by that is an open throat is like an R sound. Ah, that's when your throat is at its most open. So try and adjust the sound of the words as far as you can to come back to that open sound. So let's take the first line. She was a fast machine. She was a fast machine. That's not going to be nice to sing it like that, especially that high. So how about shy was a fast machine. She was a fast machine. I've exaggerated there but you see where I'm going with this. She was a fast machine. So instead of your throat going, she was a fast machine and doing this business, it's going, she was a fast machine and staying much more open. Again, you're asking your throat not to work as hard, okay? Because it's staying in approximately the same position. And then apply that mentality all the way through the lyrics. And this comes back to tip number one. Prepare every line. How can we adjust this to make it that bit easier? Adjust the sounds. Keep the throat open. Okay. Final tip. Bonus tip. Because I did say it'd only be three, but another one has occurred to me. So this is 3A. Again, as we said in video number one, don't look up. Don't think up. Don't go into this with any doubt when you come to perform it. Even if it does go wrong, 
always believe that it won't. You're gonna succeed. Because as soon as you go, crack a bit high, then you will tense up, air will push up against your vocal cords, they'll open up, air will rush through, and then you'll run out of breath and have this breathy sound. So always think down. Even if you look at the video to this song, you'll see that Brian Johnson's singing like this. She was a fast machine. Okay, so he's looking down, thinking down. He's Everything is down. Another mental picture to have is when I was at school a long time ago, you know, before YouTube and Sky TV, in the cold winters, my mom would give me these coats, these great big duffel coats, big hoods and big padded coats, okay? You look like a big marshmallow. Imagine you're wearing that coat and it's made of concrete. Imagine everything is pulling down. Your throat is open. Your breath is controlled. Everything is down. Don't look up. Okay, so I just want to quickly bring all this together, okay, and just show you what I'm doing. Now, I'm not saying this is the best vocal performance, because it isn't, let's be honest, but I'm just trying to show you how you can make progress to getting the performance that you want. Okay, so bringing it all together. So firstly, no lyric sheets, I've learned the words. I'm gonna take a deep breath, one of my lungs, and I'm gonna hold it there with the poop muscle and the smoking sensation, okay? I am thinking all the time, down, 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 down. And I've amended some of the sounds of the words to keep the throat open as I can, okay? So here we go, let's bring it all together. She was a fast machine, can some more clear, was the best little woman that I've ever seen. She had silenced her eyes, telling me no lies, knocking me out with those American thighs. Okay. Okay, so we come to the end of, uh, of this video. If it was helpful or interesting, please do let me know and more will follow. If you have any questions, if there's anything you'd like me to try or answer, please comment and let me know. And uh, I'm sure that uh, if there's enough interest, we will see each other again. All the best. She was a fast machine, came to Mona clean, was the best damn woman that I've ever seen. She had silence eyes, telling me no lies, knocking me out with those American thighs. Damn woman, he sham, had me fighting for him. She told me to come and I was already there. And the world starts shaking, the earth was quaking, my mind was sinking. I said it.